What's going on, Gypsy fam? So this episode is gonna be pretty packed. Romeo V2, a fan of ours, DM us and said, huge fan, you and the team should make a video on how you got into fashion and how you find the pieces you're searching for. So we're gonna take that question and sort of run with it. Uh, all of us, I mean, everybody at Gypsy, we all dress completely different. We all have different backgrounds in fashion. We all have different stories. Oh, hold Who's on, Kenjay's calling me. Kenjay's calling you? Yeah, where is he? Yo. You gotta come help me right now. What's up, man? You okay? I'm at the fucking hospital, dude. You gotta come help me. You at the hospital? You at the hospital? Yeah, I, something happened to my leg, bro. You need to fucking come get me right now. Oh my now. god. All right, bro. All right, we're on the hey, way, bro. Let's go, let's go. All right, let's go, let's go. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Wow, dude, there's so oh much traffic. Oh my god, bro, there's so much traffic. We gotta go, man. The uh, boy's in trouble, bro. The hospital's like a block down this way and then a block to the left. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, man, I hope he's okay, bro. I hope he's at that hospital, man. If he's not, I'm, I don't care. Bro. I'm not wasting any more <laughs> gas. What bro. other hospital, right? I'm not wasting any more gas, bro. This is like <laughs> this is the hospital I think of when he says hospital. All right, bro. Oh, yep. There's a sign right there. Boom. Pull up. Pull up. Damn, dude. Come on, man. Hurry up, light. Oh, we man. got we got problems, man. Yeah, Kenjay's sick, man. Come I'm about on, to run man. this red light, bro. Actually, I might kill. I might put someone else in the hospital. Oh, <laughs> shit. You think he's good? Also, I was wondering why he was late to yeah, today's yeah. episode too. I was like, what the fuck? I mean, he's usually a little late. But... Yeah. Come on, light. Move. Green. 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 Approximately 10 hours later. Yeah, Swedish. Oh, Swedish. Yeah, we're here. We're at the here. hospital. Come on, hurry up, bro. Come on, man. You coming or going? You coming Go! Or going? Oh, shit. Move, Chris. Move. Whoa, you, are you good, bro? Yeah, man, I'm chilling. I fucked up my Air Max, my bubble pop, bro. What? What? The bubble pop, bro. Look at it. Wait. Mm. What? They fucked me up, bro. I need a new pair. Bro, you said this was an emergency. What are you doing? Is, Why bro. are you dressed like this? I found this in the garbage. <laughs> oh, come on, man. My fucking got a flat tire. Call the fucking hospital. Come on, man. Look at it, bro. I got this shit hooked up on me, man. Oh my god, bro. Get in the car, bro. Get in the car, bro. Gotta That's five dollars gas money, bitch ass. We gotta film an episode, bro. Get your ass in the we car. We gotta get the episode going, bro. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Some people are looking at me. Some lady walked out. She's like, you're not very well dressed for the outside. <laughs> Kenja, what is that sticking out of your shoe? I don't know. It's how the air comes in. <laughs> Every step that, uh... Ventilator circulates <laughs> air into yeah, his right. air unit. His uh, vapor maxes are on life support, bro. That's crazy. Going to the now my shoe to refill it every step. That's crazy, bro. Your shoes are on life support. Okay, so. Alright, guys. <laughs> like we were saying before, GMT fam, uh, Romeo V2 said, huge fan. You and the team should make a video on how you got into fashion. So we're gonna, it's gonna be like a meet the team kind of thing, right? Yeah, you guys will meet our whole staff. You'll see how they transition from their older fits to their newer fits. You guys are gonna see what pieces that we all want, like kind of like our grails or what we see ourselves doing in the near future. And then, um, yeah, <laughs> let's get to it. Guys, if you're new to the channel, my name is Justin. I am one of the owners of Drip Tea and Drip Tea Market. It's gonna start off with a fit breakdown. Um, today I got on the Arteryx 
SV with the Arteric System A with the Post Archive Faction Pants with the Solomon ACS Pros. Um, shout out to Joel for those. Got the Bottega bag, some chrome, some more chrome. I think that's it. <laughs> Alright guys, so what got me into fashion, I would say is probably like Nike SBs back in high school. The creativity they put into it and like all the different designs and stuff. Uh, I was just like, that's, that's really cool to me. And I was like, I had every single SB I wanted. I had like the Tiffany's, had the uncles, had a little bit of everything. <laughs> and then, you know, shoot forward like a couple years. I was just really into like designer and like you know, hype stuff, Supreme. Supreme really laid it out. I think Supreme laid it out for most fashion people at the beginning, you know, BOGOs and you know, <laughs> all that stuff. And then it got into like designer and I was wearing like BOGOs with Rick Owens and stuff. It was horrible. <laughs> Looking back at the pictures on Instagram, truly regret it, but that's just how it was. And then I went full designer for a little bit, just like Balenciaga, you know, mixing with like Uniqlo jeans and stuff like that. And then I really got into like Japanese archive and like uh, like just a whole bunch of random brands. And now I'm just like everything matched together. So I'll, like some days I'll come like warp style. Some days I'll come like a little bit of designer statement pieces, Uniqlo, um, and then a little bit of archive. I like a lot of vintage right now. And yeah, that's kind of where I see my style going, just wearing what I like and mixing different styles together, hoping it looks good. Places like to shop right now are probably like Japan, Grailed, um, maybe like the Essence Sale to get a piece that like I was Some eyeing. that I was supposed to get you for Christmas? That's wild. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, yeah man, that's basically where I shop. It's a pretty big advantage owning a store because people will come in and like sell me stuff and I'll see it and I'll be like, I need that. That's my line. What piece would you buy right now if you could? What's like your, your current grill? Um, probably like <laughs> the Neon Genesis. <laughs> the Neon Genesis undercover Ava 1. Fire. Honestly, no, not really. I, would, I don't really want that at all. It's stupid. I, would, I, I want a Boro jacket though. The one Paul's wearing. All the homies have them, except for me. They look a little left out. So, maybe in the future. If you guys have one, let me know. I'll Got it. Huh? What about you? What piece would you like right now, currently? It's like, a, a Miyake, Auto Winter 1996. <laughs> <laughs> Parachute Bomber. I got, okay, yeah, okay. I got that shot off the top of my head, bro. Bro, 10, come 10K. Who doesn't want that? It's a Miyake, Auto Winter <laughs> 1996, <laughs> Parachute Bomber. <laughs> hey, turn the camera over there, bro. I got the bootleg version, bro. You see that? You see that? That's the poor man version, bro. That's my girlfriend wearing your jacket. Yeah, that's hard though. Look, Crazy. bro, that's the calf and the. Honey, honey, bag. show off, show off Kenneth's jacket. <laughs> <laughs> I say, but I'm a student full time, you know what I'm saying? I'm a real one, also. Um, so, everything I got is I got chrome rings, right? And then I have a vintage um, a Japanese bomber, right? A random rush tee that I found when I was in Portland. Um, 2004 2006 Capital Denim, right? So, a uh, red line salvage and then Commerce Addicts, right? Pretty basic fit today. Um, so, how I got into fashion was like, yo, know, I got my heart broken when I was like 14, bro. And I was like, I was bummy. And I was like, yeah, like, I need to get her back. How? What's the best way I could do this, right? I'm gonna dress better, right? And that was like really like what kind of started it all. And so I was like, oh, you know, you know, we dress better for, for her. <laughs> and nah, that's facts though. That's that, that's facts though. Um, but then afterwards, I was like, you know what? Let me just start doing this for myself. And then I met my worst fits over here, right? And that's when I my style really started like really, really like develop. And my style right now is like it's kind of all over the place, right? I switched from like gore core Japanese, like very casual. Um, but I mainly, my thing, my thing is I like to focus on pieces, right? But my closet has to revolve around those pieces that I buy. So a lot of times I have like a really expensive jacket or really pe expensive pair of pants, right? But everything else is kind of cheaper or just revolves around it and I can mix and match my entire closet. And uh, where I got a lot of my stuff is from like, you know, Japan, right? I buy a lot of stuff and I 
shipping is tax, right? But a lot of my stuff comes out of Japan or like rail, vintage, right? Kind of all over the place, right? I'm more so on the thing of like, if it looks cool, I want it. That's really it. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> my name is Ramon. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Wait, 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 let me start. Okay. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to Drift City Market. Uh, my name's Ramon. My wrist fits. Uh, breaking down fit. I mean, Happy fit. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to my wrist fits. Happy birthday to you. 21 punches. Get his ass. Fight that! Fight that! I, I lost count. Okay, fit breakdown. Um, <laughs> Arterix Beta AR. Um, Levi's denim. Doc Martens. <laughs> With the. Uh, what is this? Vivian Westwood? Vivian Westwood. Vivian Westwood. <laughs> Got the Balenciaga cap on. HM belt. And that's it. This man is gatekeeping all of his brands. <laughs> um, how, oh, we also got the, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, oh, dang. Uh, how I got into fashion, I found a sewing machine, I had denim, wanted to fit better, and that's how I got into fashion. That's it. Oh, uh, where I buy stuff, I buy on Grailed and That's it. I buy on Grailed and from Japan. And just like that, this video is sponsored by Farfetch, where we get our latest fashion trends. Everybody, shout out Essence Summer Sale, shout out Depop, Shout out eBay, Etsy. Shout out Amazon. Yo. Don't buy Chrome Hearts on Etsy. Actually, yeah, but, but actually don't buy Chrome, Chrome Hearts, Hearts on, on like any place online. Yeah, ever. even grilled, bro. Yeah, it's like all fake. Ninety-nine percent fake. Don't, don't do, don't it. do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right, my worst fits. What's the one piece that you really want to get in the future? Right now, I'm looking at um, Snow Peak Titanium Fork. That's the only thing I want right now. Titanium Spork, my bad. There we go. That's hard. That's it. That's actually sorry. Shout out to Rikayo. Oh, rest in peace, bro. Alright, what's going on? No one ever bought anything from? But it looked cool to be at? Uh, I mean, they obviously did pretty well, Taro. Oh, they did. Yeah, they did. The Seattle store did really good. And they New did really well for fit New York days. did horrible. Really? Oh, right. Yeah, New York did horrible. That's what tanked them. The square footage was just too big. It was too expensive. Yeah, well, the rent there was ridiculous. Yeah, New York's rent was like a month. Yeah, something oh, like that. Oh my god. Right. And then they got bought up by because their website wasn't doing too good, and then <laughs> went bankrupt. So, <laughs> so basically, the whole company is just they just made all the wrong plays, bro. When they were just in Seattle, they were doing great. Shout out to the Kyle, we miss you. We miss you guys. All Best of our friends used to work there. Yeah, it's uh, some of boys be assholes though, respectfully. Uh, they were all my friends. I'm sorry if they treated you poorly, bro. Yeah, uh, bro, respect. Okay. They knew I was a South Indian motherfucker. They thought I was poor. They I seen was, what you were wearing. I was definitely poor, bro. They I saw what you were wearing at age 14, bro. I was poor walking in, bro. You still poor. Oh! Either way, moving on. All right, body. Right. I'm adjusting my bag. Give me a second. Turn around. No, did you like make Bend over. <laughs> so awful. The jacket actually looks so cool zipped up. Just leave him alone. What am I so, doing here? Introduce yourself. Oh, uh, my name is Fadi. Uh, I'm an employee here. Uh, that, that, that's really it. Uh, I'm not that special. What was your style before and what is it now to you? Style? Honestly, I dressed like shit. All I wore was like all black. Out your mouth, bro. What a Shut the fuck up, What's okay? It's my segment, bitch. So confident in yourself. Shut what? the fuck up, Atta boy. I don't give a shit who you are. Atta boy. Atta boy. Atta boy. Bitch, I'm the. How did you dress before you started working for us? I, I literally just wore like all black and like whatever like hype shoes because I used to resell back then. Uh, now, I dress like this. Basically, I'm like a mini Paul and mini Justin. Because honestly, I wear like whatever they wear. Because I like I find like everything that they wear is cool as fuck. And uh, uh where do you shop? What do I shop? The fuck? I don't shop. Y'all just give me free shit, bro. Hey, respect. Bless, respect, bro. Respect. Bless. Yeah, that's I mean, fast. I mean, besides all the crumb, I kind of buy that. So kind of broke from that. Um, shop at Drip Tea Market. Yeah, shop at Drip Tea Market. Right. Even though I don't buy anything, I just get shit for free. What piece would you want to acquire in the near future? 
Right now, I'm trying to look for a pair of Rick Owen Dunks. The, the dust pair is like a brown and like cream color. It's like, I, I want it so bad because like the brown is like, it's like a nice brown. So, and that's, that's really it. All right, I have on Rick Owen Geo Baskets. Then I have a 501 Levi's. Then uh, just a plain Fear of God tee with a uh, just vintage chrome hoodie. Some random flannel I got from Justin. Vintage LV bag. Uh, chrome jewelry and then an uh, unknown target tracker. Yeah. What's up, guys? My name is Maven. Um, outfit breakdown. Uh, we're gonna stop by. Uh, we're gonna stop right from the toe. We got the Yeezy Knit Runner boots in the sulfur colorway. Um, these sweatpants are from Aritzia. They're super comfortable. Do not be afraid to shop in the women's section, guys. You can find some good shit for really good deals. Uh, on shirt, we got a bootleg Tupac tee, front and back kit. And then uh, on top right over here, we have a Cactus Plant Flea Market, uh, human-made collab. Uh, fleece jacket is the Rave Boy colorway, I believe. And then um, Buddy and Clyde hat. And then jewelry. It's all the same. But um, yeah. How did I get into fashion? Um, realistically, I got into fashion by getting bullied at a really young age for wearing a lot of like secondhand stuff. Um, a lot of the stuff that I got was either from Goodwill or like to me expensive back then was Ross. And um, I got bullied a lot for just like wearing like DC shoes and all this other stuff when everybody was rocking Vans and skinny jeans and all that. So it was kind of in the beginning, a little bit of a peer pressure thing. And there was a lot of like trying to figure out who I was in my identity. And I actually then through fashion kind of found out what I liked, what I disliked, and it helped me grow confidence as a person. Um, I feel as if the outfit can make the person, but you can also make the outfit. So at first, the, like my outfits used to be my confidence, but then now my confidence is there in whatever outfit I rock, I'm confident in. So yeah. Um, then where I get my pieces, uh, what's funny is a lot of it still hasn't changed. Um, Second hand, um, I do thrift a lot, whether it be at the Goodwill bins or at the thrift shops in the nearby area. Thrifting is super popular nowadays. Shout out to Macklemore and everybody else who does it. But um, yeah, and uh, all the more expensive pieces, like the more name brand stuff, either like resell like StockX or here at Drip Team Market. So if you're ever looking for some cool stuff, come through the shop. My one grail piece that I'm trying to buy in the future it will forever be the Yeezy two solars. Those to me are my grail shoes of all time. I know there's one person here in the store who has it who won't let me try on his size 10, but that's fine. Cause I'm a 10 half and that's totally cool. I don't want to stretch a shoe out. Not naming anybody, Justin, <coughs> Justin. But yeah, uh, it would be the Yeezy two uh, solar reds. And uh, yeah, those are my forever grail shoe. And I hopefully in the future, we'll get it. So, yeah. For a price that I want to pay, not a price that is super, it's, it's crazy, you know. Yeah. He's gonna be like, yo, everything that I've already ever wanted, right? For a girl, I've already had, so there's nothing really I want anymore. I promise you he's gonna say that. Yeah. Facts. What? <laughs> no, 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 what? What are they talking about over there? Hi, everybody. My name's Paul. Also one of the owners of Drip Tea. Also one of the owners of Drip Tea Market. Um, I'm wearing this beautiful scarf that my girlfriend knit for me for Christmas. Capital Boro jacket. This is the second version. Roller belt. Uniqlo long sleeve. Chrome Levi's. Converse Attics. Uh, Arteryx beams, big, and the same jewelry I always got on. Yes, bitch, big. I bag. say, I say big. Bag. You got a problem with my English, bro? Yes. yes. Big. Yeah, big. Do, it's bag. Big. Bag. Big. 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 Orange. <laughs> Arteryx beams, big. Uh, I mean, a lot of people might not know this about me either, but I was also a sneakerhead before I was into clothing. Um, much like Justin, I collected Nike SBs first, then Jordans, and didn't really care about like my clothes at all because it wasn't really a thing back then back then it was cooler to be a sneakerhead than like being the fashion and brands and stuff but that's when we were like young you know middle school early high school and then um 
Maybe like my junior or senior year, I cared a little bit more about the brands I was wearing, so I like paid attention to Babe. A lot of Babe. I mean, I like idolized Nego. And then um, some Supreme. Obviously, everybody loves Supreme. Um, but you know what? What like really got me into like the stuff I'm still into now is K-pop. I'm Korean, and uh, G-Dragon was like my idol. Uh, it's, he's the reason why I know about Chrome Arts at all. You know, 16, 17, I was looking at like K-pop music videos and this man is just in like this black hoodie with like the coolest prints on it. He has like the craziest jewelry on. I'm like, what is that? I didn't know what it was. What is that? I need that. And um, I ended up tracking down like my first hoodie and my first singular ring. I think it was a, it was a nail. And um, that's like what start, like snowballed everything for me. And um, anything G-Dragon was wearing that was like crazy is like the stuff I would like obsess about and like look into like, he wore Fear of God at one point, so I wore Fear of God. Uh, he started getting into like Undercover and like Raph Simmons, and I got into Undercover and Raph Simmons. And I was too young to afford any of that stuff, but I got into it. I learned a lot about those brands, and um, when I started getting better jobs, that's what I bought. I bought like the more obscure things. I bought like Helmet Lang, Raph, Undercover, Number Nine, um, Sass Fab, Double Taps, Neighborhood. I wore everything that was like weird in Japanese at one point in my life. And the only thing that's still weird in Japanese I wear now is um, Undercover and Capital. Those are like the two brands that kind of stuck. And then it's just Chrome Hearts. You guys know I, I like Chrome Hearts a lot. That's, yeah, those three brands, Capital, Undercover, Chrome Hearts, that's like my stuff currently. If there's a piece that you could get right now, what would it be? Or that you want? All right, guys. My name is Paul. Um, I have everything I want. I bought everything. <laughs> hey, shut up, bro! I, just, I don't thinking. need anything. I'm, I'm rich. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. rich, bro. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm, I'm rich. Let me think. I'm thinking. Bucks, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Um, bro, we've had this discussion. I have nothing I want. Bro. Exactly. You know because he got everything. I want thirty bought. bucks, bro. See, I already 30 know. Thirty dollars straight to the boy. Credit. I, already, I already know, bro. Is that what these motherfuckers were talking about? Yeah, we talking about that, bro. I was like, yo, that ass, bro. This guy's gonna be like, I already had anything I wanted, bro. I've had anything over. Bro, why is that? But why is that my problem? <laughs> but no talk, like because we, we know. Paul and I sat down. We were like, hey, what should we get each other for Dude, Christmas? We literally had this we conversation. We couldn't. We're like, hey, what thing. do you want for Christmas? And yeah. he goes. I don't know, I have everything I want. And then he asked me what I want for Christmas, and I go, I don't know, everything I want. Like, I don't know. We're, we're just, grateful, look, man. We're blessed. Yeah, we're thank in. you so much, Gypsy fam. You guys are a huge reason why we could live like this. And, um, I, dude, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. Yeah, There's like yeah. nothing I want that I don't already have. That's not yeah. a fun Paul wants stuff on impulse. Like, we'll see something and then want it. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like if too. I see <laughs> something that I don't own, and I can afford it, and I want it, I buy it. Me too. But I never go out of my way to like hunt anything down anymore. Like fashion used to be so much fun when yeah. I, I would like dream about owning like this jacket or like this belt or like, you know? Now it's I'm like, serious, I'm serious. I dreamed about owning a Chrome Arts roller belt. I dreamed about owning a Capital Boro jacket. I mean, yeah. I own a lot of stuff that I dreamed about and I guess that just comes with like the territory of doing something for a really long time. You know, it's not about how rich we are. It's not about how successful or anything it's just if you're into a hobby for a long enough time you'll find a way to get what you want it's the same with cars mm -hmm. right you always want an e30 you have an e30 you want an e30 you got an e30 like and you feel fulfilled right i said don't drive bro yeah, whatever bro. you have one though you have one. all have some normal ass dreams i was dreaming about fighting velociraptors and shit <laughs> he's thinking about getting built <laughs> what the fuck are you on? everyone's into different stuff guys but um yeah. gypsy fam you stick to a hobby like fashion for long enough the, the pieces that you see like us wearing or whoever else you look up to wearing, uh, you'll have them. Yes, it, it just happens, you know? Manifest, so. But you guys made a bet about what I would want and you said yeah, it would be- Yeah, yeah, all right, moving on, go ahead. <laughs> Real quick, guys. Um, sorry, I forgot this in the original Fit Breakdown. Shout out Kenneth for this. I'm wearing it today. Oh my God, this scarf is so hard to take off. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Help. Hey, are you just stay still? There you go. Alright, um, shout out Kenneth for this Millennium Ring made out of sterling silver. I love Yu-Gi-Oh! and I love Bakura, my favorite character from Yu-Gi-Oh! And I told them once that if they made a Millennium Ring in silver, I would buy it. But I, I don't know, I don't know where he got this. Where'd you get this? Uh, I had to get custom. I was like, you 
but he custom got this crazy. And normally they're made out of like stainless steel or like nickel or brass or something, but this is so hard. Thank you, Kenneth. Thank you so much. So solid Christmas gift. Moving on, boys. The last fit pick or fit pick. Fit breakdown of the day. What's up guys? I'm Ken Jay, I'm one of the owners in the market. What got you into fashion? What got me into fashion? Oh, I moved to Tokyo for like uh, like study abroad. And it was just crazy out there. And I saw people dressed like I've never seen in like the US. So I just kind of got into it there. And I've always been more passive into it. I just like seeing people wear stuff more than I've actually liked wearing it myself. So I, I think it was, uh, I get a lot of enjoyment just seeing being around these guys and seeing how they dress. Fit breakdown, I got the, uh, the Swedish 06 Patient Archive. I got um, Uniqlo underwear with a, with a bait t-shirt, you know what I'm saying? Got my acronyms on life support right now. Fresh out the bag. Contraction, I got the combustion chamber for every step I take. It sends kinetic energy back through the loop into the, into the, uh, the airbag so I'm never flat. That's it. <laughs> Where do I shop currently? I like to take things from Justin's closet that he's no longer currently wearing. Um, I haven't bought a, a piece of clothing in a very long time. <laughs> I tend to get a lot of things for free, including um, including the bait shirt I'm wearing. Shout out. I love you guys at bait. I just bought a new pair of acronyms. They're coming in though. That was my yearly budget right there. <laughs> the new pair of shoes. If I can own one thing. One piece I've been looking for is probably um, the M4 Howl. I've been wanting the M4 Howl for a really long time. It's probably one of the best skins in CS. Uh, I at one point owned it, but I sold it. I had to like turn some money around. I was never able to afford it again. It's back up to like three, 4,000. Um, I always wanted one of those. So that's, that's on my wish list. <laughs> <laughs> I love his seven. <laughs> Waste. Hey, yo, yo, you hey yo, hey, you trying to cross streams right now, bro? Bro, we filming a video, bro. Come on. Open the door, then, bro. Open the, open the door, man. Don't be shitting me, bro. Come on, open the. Oh my god. Hey, yo, Wait, how you take these off, cuz? What did you do with it? How you take these ah. off? Fuck out of here, cuz. Alright, we got brand new size 26, you feel me? Right? Barely desktop. Um. Hey, <laughs> Hey, yo! My life bing bong. You see it, bro? It's first You see the ice? Right? You see the drip? That's why I work here. That's why I work here. I just sold a pair of shoes. I sold one, bro. You ever sell one shoe? Y'all be selling pairs. I sell one. I'm out here, bro. Greatest ever, bro. Come on, the hey, fucking you, goat. You really for the beach, bro. That's fucked up. You, you even saw the other shoe. Yeah, you see me in the drip, bro. They smell a little funny, but you feel me? <laughs> had a little, hey, couple two inches of height on me, bro. Hey, he said, let me handle that, bro. You let see me handle that. Let me handle that, bro. Hey, shout out athletes. Feel about an athlete. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I got straight violated. All right, guys. So you saw the origin of how we got into fashion. You saw all the little funny details and stuff that got us to the point that we are in now. We are headed to Xi'an Noodle for Ramon's birthday. He chose this place. It's one of our favorite places. So you know we down. You mean Dick's Burgers, right? I mean Dick's Burgers. Um, 
Wallingford. In Wallingford. In Wallingford. I mean, UW, Dick's Burgers. All right, we'll see you there. Hey, up? If I kill y'all, not on me, bro. Not on me. Y'all, y'all trusted us. Huh? Mind bro. It's delicious. I want to get a whip fashion in the white Bro, Fadi is actually possibly the worst driver I've ever rode with in my entire life. Bro, let me put you on right now. Pats and soup. It's pats that make soup. Well, I warned you, bro. Actually a hard game. Cats and soup is quick. I warned you, buddy. It's Ramon's birthday and he wanted Sian noodles. So, so we eating it. This is his birthday dinner. <laughs> yes. Happy birthday, bro. Happy birthday, Ramon. Happy birthday, Ramon. I'll show you how it's done. Alright, you ready for this? So first thing, you don't just open it and start eating right away. You open it first. You get this chili sauce. Chili oil, I mean. Dump it in the you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You can add the flakes if you want. Add them later. Then you gotta put the lid back on. Give it a nice little shake. Then <laughs> you open it and you eat it, bro. Look at that. Look at how delicious that looks. All right guys, so you watched the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. You kind of found out where we got started in fashion and where we're going. Hope you enjoyed meeting the team too. Yep, you met the team. Come in, shop for yourselves, try stuff on, because the majority of our clothes do come from our own store. So you know, check out online, driftteammarket.com. And always like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you get this video every week. Yeah.